Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on some tools for Hearts of Iron 4 modding. I use Visual Studio Code personally because it uh, allows me to do stuff like this, stuff like this, which Notepad++ to my knowledge does not allow you to do. It's a little laggy when you're zoomed all the way out, but it still works. It's a really useful tool for if you're working on a specific area of the map and you're changing stuff around or you just need to know what the provinces are and you don't want to have the game open and running and go back and forth and back and forth between the game and the other screen and the game and the other screen or whatever your setup is. Some plugins for VS Code that I use are these here. Uh, CW Tools. Sorry, it allows me to do most of the uh, syntax without much effort. Hoi4 Mod Support. This is another syntax. It's not necessary. It's just an addition that I found before I got CW Tools. And this was another one that I got before I got CW Tools. So these two are not necessary unless you want them specifically. CW Tools and Hoi4 Mod Utilities are really important. Hoi4 Mod Utilities allows the stuff that we saw over here to happen. Yeah, it's a, it's a great tool. It is a little laggy, but it's really useful. All right, paint.net, everybody knows paint.net, but does everybody know this website? Installing plugins and plugin packs right here. But these are really the only uh, major tools that you're gonna need for modding Hoi4. If you want Photoshop or something other than paint.net, GIMP download, this website here uh, is pretty useful if you're new to coding for Hoi4. It gives spaghetti code sometimes. It is useful if you're new to the game, coding, modding, all that kind of stuff. It allows you to build focus trees. It allows you to make events, ideas, ideologies, decisions stuff like that. I don't I haven't tried the country or the start dates, but I've tried all of these and they work decently. You just have to go through and kind of edit the code a little bit and read through it to understand what it's doing. Some other tools that I use remove background. This is a paid software, but it's useful for upscaling old images if you really really need to. It also requires a GitHub account. There might be a, a free version of this. I just am not aware of it. This one is decent. It's not great at actually doing accurate colorizations, but it can help you get a start on a colorization, like an idea of what colors need to go where. This website here has a lot of good fonts that are useful for making teasers or other stuff like that for your mod, like Steam Workshop covers, stuff like that. For music, FL Studio is free. It's not great when it's a free version, but the trial version allows you to actually work on a little bit of music if you want to try to do that. Uh, I believe you can export in .ogg as well. And for my trailer, I used DaVinci Resolve for free as well. So these are all the tools I use for modding Hoi4, Drop Shadow and other effects, this stuff specifically. Thank you very much for watching and I'm going to do a series on Hoi4 modding starting with this one. Um, request anything you need down in the comments and I'll see when I can get around to it. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.